Hey guys, it's Rachelle. Today, let's do lesson number three, how to use digital scrapbook paper to fill in a design. Let's talk about scrapbook paper. You see the scrapbook paper right now? We can sell the scrapbook paper individually as one piece of paper, a filler sheet, a texture sheet. Then you can create similar scrapbook paper with the same colors or theme and sell it as a set of 12. But we're not gonna stop there. We're gonna take that scrapbook paper and fill in designs with it, like this number one, for instance. Not only can you sell the number one as an individual clip art, you can do all the numbers and sell them individually. Then you can create a new listing and sell them all together as a complete set. You're probably thinking, why would someone buy just the number one? Well, if they want to make a, their own creation for their daughter to sublimate and put on a shirt, then they can do that themselves. But not all of your customers are going to think that way. So think for them. Go ahead and make that number one, Maddie, for yourself and sell it. And then your customers will start asking you for custom orders. Then you can have a stream of income coming in from just custom orders. You charge more for custom orders and you decide when you want to work with custom orders. There's some months I don't accept one custom order. In our last video, we learned how to make digital scrapbook paper. In this video, I want to teach you how to take that same scrapbook paper and incorporate it into a new design. For instance, this scrapbook paper I made, I'm going to put it in that number one, and then I can personalize it with Maddie across it. Head over to pickmonkey.com. This is the scrapbook paper I'm going to use to create this design right here. Go ahead and edit a new image and do a blank canvas. We always want to do our shirt designs at 4,000 by 4,000 and go ahead and hit the make button. We need to start with a transparent background, so let's remove this white background, convert this to a layer and delete that, back, that white background. And there we go, we have a transparent background. Go ahead and head over here to the text and find the font you like. We're gonna use the freshman font and we're gonna make the number one. You can go ahead and size it however you want. I did 1600 right here and I still needed to increase it even bigger. Once you have the size you like, you're gonna come over here to textures. You remember last time when we did textures and we could add glitter to it? Well, this time we wanna add our own texture to it. So we're gonna scroll up and add our own texture and bring it from our computer. Just find the texture you want, go ahead and upload it. This automatically uploads as a fade. Do you see that right there? So we're gonna not fade it at all. We can play with the saturation or the size. Um, we're going to keep the um, proportions. If we don't, it kind of distorts it a little bit. And then once we like the adjustment, we're just going to apply it. Once we applied it, we need to outline this. We don't have to, but I think it looks a little bit better. Now you can play with the line intensity and the thickness. I like the thickness to be around 30, but you can play around with that. This orange automatically sets to that orange, but I'm going to go ahead and hit the eye dropper and make sure it's the perfect shade of orange, but I'm going to play around and see which one I like better. And then I'm going to click the orange. That's the perfect match. And that'll be my outline. Add the text. I'm going to do the Bromello regular font this time, and I'm going to text out the name. Adjust the name and get it perfectly lined up across the one how you like it. Now I got to decide what color I want. So I'm going to go and do the same thing and grab the little eye dropper and decide what shade I want the Maddie to be in. I'm really liking this dark grayish purple color. 
And if you see right here, it kind of blends in, not really, but it does blend in a little bit. So I want to go ahead and outline that. So I'm going to um, pick the color I want. I'm going to do it white. It's hard to see the white outline on the Maddie. So if you add a background color to it, you can see what the design looks like. And now again, make it a transparent background before you save it as your PNG file. Once we have that saved, go ahead and delete the name and save your layers how you want it so you never have to make that one again. Now we can go ahead and list the first birthday Maddie PNG file and the number one that we made. But let's not stop there. Let's go ahead and create the full number set. Since we already made the one, we might as well make all the other numbers, right? So go ahead and convert all the changes. You might have to do that several times to test that out. Just click in and see if you can type in the little blue square. If you can, that means you reverted all the changes. Duplicate that, make a number two, a three, a four, all the way until nine, and then make the number zero. Now, once you made all those numbers, bring them all back to the middle and make it as big as you can to fit inside that square. What we're going to do, we're going to make that number one in all of these numbers all at once. All right, so this is a very quick way on how to make one through nine and zero. Go ahead and pick the scrapbook paper you want to use and apply that. Remember, it goes to a little bit of fade. So bring that where you need it. And once it's perfect, hit apply. Now do your outline. We did the orange. Remember that orange is a default. So you want to go in there and pick the shade that's perfect for your creation and now you're going to separate those and bring them in one by one and save them individually one by one three two one and there you go That's all I have for you today. So lesson number four, we'll go over how to create the full alphabet and number set fast. This is our pet of the day, Geo. She's our red bearded dragon and she's so adorable. Thank you guys for watching. Do your YouTube magic and click the notification bell and the like button. If you have any questions, let me know in the, in the comments. Bye.